Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about administering medicated transdermal patch. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. The learning objectives we will be discussing in this session will be what is transdermal medicated patch? What are the advantages of transdermal medicated patch? What are the different types of transdermal patches and its duration? What are the different sites for administering transdermal medicated patch? How to administer transdermal medicated patch? And what are the disadvantages of transdermal medicated patch? Let's get into the topic. What is a transdermal medicated patch? A transdermal patch is a type of medical patch which is used to deliver medication through the skin and into the bloodstream for systemic effects. When comparing to other routes of administering medication, especially oral route, transdermal patch provide a steady and controlled release of the drug and reduces gastrointestinal side effects and improve patient compliance. When we look at the picture, we can see the layers of the skin that is epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous fat. Transdermal patch is applied on the skin and the medication releasing from the patch crosses the layer of the skin and enters into the bloodstream. Now, looking into the layers of transdermal medicated patch. The first layer is backing. This is the outermost layer of the patch, like a protective shell. This layer is made of flexible, durable, and waterproof material that keeps the patch intact and shields it from damage. The next is the drug layer that contains the drug medication. It is designed to release the medication slowly and steadily over time. The next layer is the membrane. The membrane is a selective barrier that controls the rate at which the drug is released from the patch. It helps regulate the delivery of the medication into the skin. The next layer is the adhesive. And this layer is like a sticky glue on the underside of the patch. It allows the patch to adhere securely to the skin so it stays in place during its use. The next layer is the liner. The liner is the protective layer covering the adhesive. It is removed just before applying the patch to the skin. Next comes the common types of transdermal medicated patch. There are different types of transdermal patches available and they are drug in adhesive system, reservoir system, matrix system, and micro reservoir system. And let's discuss this one by one. First comes drug in adhesive system. And this is composed of three layers that is backing, drug with adhesive, and liner. The adhesive layer of the patch contains the drug and this slowly releases into the skin. The next is the reservoir system. It is composed of layers like backing, drug, membrane, adhesive, and liner. The reservoir system consists of a drug reservoir separated from the skin by a semi-permeable membrane. The semi-permeable membrane controls the rate of drug release, allowing a steady diffusion of the drug through the skin. Reservoir patches are suitable for delivering drugs that require a controlled and consistent release over an extended period. Next comes the matrix system. It is composed of backing, drug, adhesive, and liner. The drug is evenly spread throughout the patch material 
and it diffuses directly from the patch into the skin. This system is useful for delivering drugs that do not require a control over drug release. Now comes micro reservoir system and it is composed of backing, drug with polymer, adhesive and liner. The micro reservoir system combines features of both the reservoir and matrix systems. These micro reservoirs release the drug slowly through the skin. The main advantage is the precise control over the drug release. Now let's discuss some advantages of transdermal medicated patch. Transdermal medicated patches are easy to use and apply. It is steady and has a controlled release of the drug. Transdermal patches have reduced gastrointestinal side effects. Here, the drug is delivered through the skin and directly enters the bloodstream, so it bypasses the gastrointestinal tract. Transdermal patches avoid first pass metabolism. These patches deliver medication directly into the bloodstream, bypassing the liver's first pass metabolism, which leads to get higher amount of drug reaching the bloodstream. This is a flexible application which can be applied to various locations on the body. It is easy to discontinue and can be easily removed if medication needs to be stopped quickly. It has a lower dose frequency which may reduce the need for frequent dosing in some cases. Now comes the common sites for applying transdermal patches. The sites may vary according to the type of medication on the patch. The common sites for applying transdermal patches are chest. This includes the upper chest area below the collarbone. Next is the upper arm, which includes the front or back of the upper arm. Next site is the abdomen. This includes the lower abdomen away from the waistline. Next is the upper back and it is applied between the shoulder blades on the upper back. Next is the hip. The side of the body near the hip area is another option for patch application. And the site of application depends on the medication used. Moreover, Certain patches are placed behind the ear. For example, scopolamine comes as a patch to be placed on the hairless skin behind your ears. This prevents nausea and vomiting due to motion sickness, anesthesia, and surgery. Now comes the duration of transdermal medicated patch. The duration of action of transdermal patches can vary depending on the specific medication and its formulation. Some patches will require to change every day and some patches should be worn for several days before it is replaced. The nicotine patch is used for smoking cessation and nicotine patches typically last for 16 to 24 hours with variable strengths available. Fentanyl patch is a potent opioid pain reliever and fentanyl patches can provide relief for 48 to 72 hours. The scopolamine patch is used to prevent motion sickness. Scopolamine patches are applied behind the ear and typically last for 72 hours. Now let's discuss the procedure of applying a transdermal patch. Check the medication order and follow the rights of medication administration. Arrange the supplies needed for administering the transdermal patch. Check the allergic details. Identify the patient correctly by using the two identifiers. Explain the procedure to the patient. Wash hands and wear gloves. 
Now select the site. Choose a clean, dry and hairless area of skin for applying the patch. We have already discussed the common sites of applying the patches and avoid areas with cuts, rashes or irritation. Remove old patch to avoid giving the client extra medication and dispose of used patches safely by folding in half that is the sticky sites together and then dispose according to the hospital policies. Clean the application site with mild soap and water instead of alcohol because alcohol dries out the skin and the patch will not stick as well. Now open the package carefully ensuring not to damage the patch in the process. Peel off the patch revealing the adhesive side with the medication. Carefully apply the adhesive side of the patch to the selected site. And the technique is remove half and stick it to the client's skin then remove the second half to allow for a smoother application. Try not to touch the medicated side of the patch. This is the sticky side that will be going on to the client's skin. After applying the patch, use the palm of your hands to press firmly for about 10 seconds. Do not massage in order to improve adhesion. Replace the supplies and wash hands and document the date and time applied, the patch location and the patch strength. Now comes the disadvantages of transdermal medicated patch. Skin irritation. The patient may experience skin irritation or allergic reactions. Next is adhesion issues. Adhesive problems may occur causing the patch to peel off. Next is a fixed dose. The dose of the medication is predetermined and cannot be easily adjusted based on the individual patient needs. Next is transdermal patches loses potency if exposed to heat or water. And there are limited drug types where not all the medications can be delivered effectively to the skin. So, so far we have discussed what is a transdermal medicated patch, what are the advantages, what are the different types of transdermal patches and its duration, what are the different sites for administering transdermal medicated patch, and how to administer transdermal medicated patch and its disadvantages. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it, and subscribe it, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.